Okay, step one in cleaning the furler is you got to get up into here with a Q-tip and clean the bearings. And then this piece pops off right here on the bottom. Slides down a little bit, and then there's bearings up under there. Okay. Okay, now to get into this uh, part of the furler, you got to take this screw out right here. And I've already got it out. It's right here. And then there's one down in the bottom right down here you need to loosen right up underneath and then this one and then this guy back here on the back and uh, okay, now that I get the front opened it. up and it'll tilt down a little bit like this I'm gonna pull all the line out because I'm gonna take the drum off and uh, clean the whole thing up probably replace the line also Okay, now I'm going to take the drum off. So this just, I've got the bolts all out, so this piece just slides out. And there you have it. Note this inside piece is riveted to the, uh, to the cover. We'll just set that aside. Okay, now to separate the sections, you get in here with the screwdriver and there's a little slot right here. Stick the screwdriver in and uh, you can pry it out a little bit and you do the same thing to the other side right here and then you'll end up with an opening and the two sections should start to separate like that and it pops apart so now the uh, inside of the drum is open and uh, the roller furler drum is out of the way and uh, I can now get in there to, to check the bearings this bearings way down in the bottom here right down in here and you can get up in there with the q-tip and then there's some bearings inside this so you got to grease in here. This is pretty smooth because I did this last year so uh, I'm probably just going to clean it and uh, see, how it, see how it is. There you have it. That's the furler opened up. This piece with the line run through it just stays uh, on. Um, I, don't, I don't take this bolt all the way out. I guess you could. But uh, that's it. Now, so you open the top the, uh, of the furlax, the track will slip down about a quarter inch. So uh, Okay, now, these two up. screws, bolts, I guess, on the top of the furlax, they've got a little pin in them right here, sticking out the end. So you got to remember to put these two bolts back in here, because they're going to lock in the track. Okay, now what you got to do is you got to put the cutter pin back in, right down here, and then grab hold of this track and you're going to lift it up with your thumb until you see the hole right in there, right inside the bolt place. And then you can put the bolt in. Then you can put the bolt in when you get it up the right. Okay, this is how the line is attached on the inside of the furlex. we got one uh, little plate with uh, the line wrapped around it and then clamped down in. So. I don't remember how to do that. I'm going to replace the line. Okay, and if you want to get the uh, Furlex cleaned up really good, because that label looked rusty and like crap, so I uh, took it off. Had to use the heat gun and uh, kind of peeled it all off and then uh, let it cool down and used some acetone and got the glue off and then used some chrome polish and looks pretty good. There you have it. There's the uh, drum for the Perlex.